Hey guys, what is up? First two weeks again with another Black Ops 2 commentary. This one is going to be on the Happy Hour achievement and basically the easiest way to get it. And the easiest way for two reasons. One, Quick Revive only costs you 500 points. And two, you don't even need a turn for Quick Revive in Solo because in Solo, as most of you know, Quick Revive automatically has power attached to it, so... And it does count towards the achievement, believe it or not. Because technically it is a perk and it is without power. So that's really convenient, really nice to just get this achievement done easily if you're just looking for just the achievement like I was here. This is actually now I got the achievement. I will show you where I got the, got the achievement later. And you don't even actually need to have the two perks at the same time, as you'll see with my achievement when I actually show you the real achievement at the end of the video. Right here I'm just going to be ray training a bunch of zombies using the strategy I used for my 37, which I'll round 37, which I will leave a link to in the description for you, those of you who want to see the strategy for it. And of course, this is round two, and I really don't need to do this, but I figured, you know what, I'm just going to line these zombies up, hit them with my starting pistol a bunch of times, get a ton of hit markers, get a ton of points, and just be able to do this in the earlier round, just just for your easiness, you know? And this is basically what the achievement guide here I'm giving you is about, just about simplicity and just being able to do it in the easiest way possible. Bus is leaving, we don't really care about that, though. We're just going to stay here and do the achievement here, because Speed Cola is in the diner, which is directly in front of me right now. And then... I have 3,000 points right now, so I need 750 more to open the door, and then buy Speed Cola for 3,000 points. And I'm going to give you guys a warning about this right now. Buying perks without, without the power actually being on, without a power source actually going to the ter to the perk, excuse me, to the per without a power source going to the perk, the perk, you do have the perk, but it does nothing for you, which is extremely useless and actually very annoying, because you did buy the perk, you did spend the points on it, you can end up going down super easily without really being aware that you don't have the perk, like if you were to buy a jug or something. Which I did that a couple of times when the game first came out here. And there you go, throwing a frag, almost got pinned there. But here we go, I got enough points. Just gonna kill these last two zombies, get a couple of crawlers, and then just go over and buy the speed coal over there. And I end up getting a nuke, which doesn't help too much because now there's a new round starting, but I figured, you know what, I'm just gonna go for it, just get the perk. It's only round four, it's not that big of a deal. So you need to power the perk with the turban. This is the only one you actually need to power for. I did do this in theater mode, so that's for those of you wondering why you're not seeing hold X to do whatever with the MP5 and turban and the speed cola. That is why this is my first video doing it in theater mode. I also use iMovie to do some more editing past that. But you're gonna see right now, the speed cola is not lit up. The speed cola, compared to my, you can compare it to my Quick Revive perk down there. The speed cola is not lit up. You're gonna see I put the turban down there it goes, it lit up again, and now I have faster reloads, and I'm showing you guys how I do have faster reloads with this, and then I go and take the turban down again after this, and show you, yes, I, and after that I do not have speed cola anymore, or at least I, I do have the perk, but all these effects are completely useless to me, so it's definitely something you want to watch out for, see, now I have much slower reloads, and or, speed cola is not lit up anymore. Something you definitely want to watch out for, especially like if you're going to try to go and get Jug early like that. Because then Jug is useless and you think you have more protection than you really do and then you go down and then you lose it. And then everybody just gets frustrated at that point. So that is pretty much it for this guy, you guys. I'll be bringing you guys tons of more Black Ops 2 zombies achievements, strategies, tips and tricks, stuff like that. So be sure to subscribe, hit the like, video on, hit the like button on this video if it helped you out. And I will see you guys next time, and here we go into round 5 actually. I made this video just just for the purpose of showing you guys how to do this achievement in the easiest way, so I figured, you know what, might as well just go down in the lava, just go out in style, I guess. And that is pretty much it guys, so... Oh, actually, you know, I do have the clip of me getting the, per the actual achievement, the first time I did get the achievement, with only one perk here, and I will show you guys that in a minute here, in a couple seconds. But I did go down with my Quick Revive, and I did end up only having Jug, and as you can see the Jug symbol will, it's lit up once you first get it, once you take the turbine away, then it no longer works. And it'll work permanently if you do the power on, but other than that it doesn't work. So yeah, that's it guys, I will see you guys next time.